So it's Sunday, the 22nd of March, 2020, and it's 11 days since I've been in self-isolation. It's six days since I started feeling symptoms and four days since I was tested for the COVID-19 virus here in Los Angeles, in the west side of LA. They told me I would get my results back in six days, so that would be Tuesday. A lot of you have been asking me how I'm feeling. Thanks for the concern. There's been a lot of people reach out to me. You guys are awesome. I'm feeling much better today, actually. I feel I'm not coughing as much. I still have some shortness of breath and some tightness in my chest, but overall a lot better. Thanks for the concern. I'm feeling a little bit flushed though, you might notice, but that could be because of an email that I got Earlier, I was working on a document for a producer who reached out and asked me if I'd take part in a podcast this week to share my experience. And I was sending her an email when I got a notification, ping, and it was from the COVID-19 test centre in Culver City, which is not far from me in the west side here of LA. So immediately, as you can imagine, I dropped everything and I opened the email up and this is what it said. I printed it out so you could see it. Let me just cover the nurse's name. It says your COVID-19 test was negative. Yes. So the first thing I did, I'm completely relieved as you can imagine, First thing I did was I called my son, who was obviously ecstatic. If you remember, if you've been watching these videos, my son stationed in San Diego, the US Navy. And one of the only times I'd gone out in the past 11 days was to drive there to give him some hand sanitizer because he couldn't get any. And being a typical millennial, he didn't actually think that this was going to be a big deal. <laughs> I. I was relieved to be able to call him and tell him that, not just for that reason, for my own health, but he has to let his chain of command know. And he wasn't looking forward to telling him that I was testing positive, so that's a blessing. But I'm not completely out of the woods yet. Uh, the test centre have asked me to continue to self-isolate until the following three things have happened. You no longer have a fever. Uh, you have to wait 72 hours, so a minimum of 72 hours with no fever. Your other symptoms have subsided and gone away completely, so no tightness, no shortness of breath, no coughing. And you've stayed home and isolated for at least seven days since you were first feeling the symptoms. Tomorrow is my seventh day, so that's, that's cool. But ironically, they haven't sent me my flu uh, results back yet. So whilst I'm still immune compromised, it's important for me to continue to self-isolate so I don't come into contact with anyone who might have it. But I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm doing the right thing. I'm staying home. I'll continue to self-isolate to help others out there, which we all should be doing. And seriously, guys, this is, this is a big deal. This is, this is like immense. It's not going away. We need to do everything we can because today the US figures just escalated again. Last night there were 23,000 official. Today those numbers have flipped around and now they're 32,000 which is incredible and that's only the official numbers. I mean the unofficial numbers are, could be astronomical at this stage so do the right thing, stay home, we, we owe it to each other. And in fact, I want to thank the people that have reached out to me. Your support has been unbelievable. You've wished me so many good wishes and sent love and I can't wait to see you guys again and give you an actual physical hug because that is going to be one special day for everyone, everyone in the world. How crazy is that? We should probably have a national hug day when we finally get out the back end of this, right? Um, but before I go off and celebrate uh, with a hot bath and a cup of tea, I wanted to say that my 
I stay at home for is hashtag I stay at home for. So be well guys, lots of love and I'll see you on the other side.